Hey people of YouTube, it's me Jules again. Okay, new episode of Young Justice today, and might I say that I loved it. I mean, of course the action is what really drew me in, you know, uh, Black Manta versus Sportsmaster, and Cheshire versus Megan, or, you know, without any power, so it's not really a fight. But it, the action, it wasn't as good as, you know, the alienated episode, but still, it was enough to keep me in. This is what we expect from a superhero uh, series, and man, was the action intense. Another fun fact, it's picking up as to what happened in the last scene of the last episode, where Blue Beetle obviously just covers up as to what happened, you know, him turning on everybody and actually capturing them. But apparently Nightwing is not buying into it. I mean, at first he buys into it, but as a detective trained by Batman, he's not easily fooled. He actually looks around. He finds claws in the ground from Wolf and also sees airlock damaged. And also he sees Robin's Birdarang and traces of Blue Beetle on it. So apparently you can't really fool a professional detective who has been trained by Batman. Dick, you are a genius as always. He's... And you're also hot. <laughs> but also it begs the question of where is Red Arrow? Uh, he escaped. However, it's unclear whether or not he was captured later on or if he could still be in the war planet thing. Because I was actually hoping that we would touch up as to how come he was so scared. But I guess maybe we'll see that in next episode, hopefully. But on the story side of things, um, Meg pretty much was able to get out of there good and clean with some help of Artemis' family. And apparently, even though, yeah, Sportsmaster possibly the worst father ever, but you can tell deep down, especially in the last few scenes, that he does care about Artemis. And also, he doesn't rat her out, he actually helps. And also, they help to play along with the escape, and also see the importance in Aqualad and Artemis' mission. And I just gotta say that they played through that whole pretend fighting thing very well, with Megan actually pushing Slade right into Artemis. Ouch, that's gotta hurt! I mean, it's for the sake of a mission, but Artemis, you are taking one for the team. So the plan just resumes as always. However, you know, with most of the team gone, this is going to be a bit difficult. But now that Nightwing knows of what's going on, or possibly suspects it, we could get the team back, but as to how, we're not sure. Maybe in the next episode. Overall, this episode was good. The action, again, wasn't as good as Alienated. But it's, it's up there. It's like second it was kind of disappointing seeing Slade's face. I didn't imagine like an old man with white uh, goatee. Well, his hair is white, so I should have known. But I kind of imagined somebody younger. But you know, most of the time, I never really get to see Slade's face. I mean, me yeah, I'm very sure other times in the comics we get to see his face, but I just never really did see his face most of the time when reading on him. But I guess, you know, in Smallville, Slade is like an old man, so I guess I can let this slide. However, his face obviously a lot better than Deadpool, so who am I to complain? I mean, it's not like uh, Slade has a contorted face with well, scars and burns and whatnot. Again, this episode was really good, and I'm really itching to find out if Nightwing will expose him or if he'll have enough information to expose Blue Beetle. And if they'll actually be able to get the team back. Okay guys, that's all the input I have. Please comment, please subscribe. Yet again, see my other video on helping to save Young Justice. Please write letters, send reach bottles, please sign the petition, and help us save Young Justice. Peace out, bitches.